and welcome back to my channel my name is Maria Maulana if you're new to the channel thank you so much for joining me today if you're an oldie but a goodie you know I love you I appreciate you in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to sleek down 4C hair I don't know why I said it like that I'm gonna show you guys how to sleek down 4C hair if there's a question I get asked on the regular it is how I sleep down my hair so I have put together a detailed detailed step-by-step -step, um, video showing you guys the process I sound like I'm right next to the beach but I'm not that was the wind <laughs> anyways guys so to start off um, with gelling your hair the one thing that i like to do is i never like working on my hair when it's dry so i'm going to go in with water and spritz water all throughout my hair and then i will follow that up with a leave-in conditioner before doing any gel styles i like making sure that my hair is prepped and that means it's moisturized enough so that like the gel whatever gel that i use or anything else that i do to it doesn't cause any harm to it you want your hair to be moisturized and it's always easier to work on moisturized damp hair now that my hair is a juicy i'm going to just go in it with an afro comb and fluff it out to make sure that it's not tangled but as you can see you know 4c hairs it has its own structure you guys so you can only do so much now i'm going to go in with my eco styler gel and the best way to explain this is to say you apply your gel in sections the way they used to apply relaxer to your hair when you were still relaxing hair that's if you've ever had your hair relaxed so you section apply gel brush section apply gel brush um and if your hair is shorter than mine and you kind of wanted to reach your ponytail or wherever it is that you have your pondo what you're going to do is you're going to apply your gel um closer to your edges as well the reason for that is not your edges your ends the reason for that is you use the glue bait your gel basically as a glue so you glue your hair down using gel all the way down so i'm going to show you with the hair here and the front so i apply my gel at the ends and then i brush the hair down um just to make sure that it glues down i'm going to follow that up and continue doing it even right in the front because my hair is shorter and where i need to i'm going to go in with a comb the reason i went in with a comb is just to comb it down is because sometimes when you have 4c hair you will find that some of your hair didn't really sleek down with everything else so there's like a little bump so we're using a wide tooth comb will um sleek it down further and then now i'm just going to go in and uh, gel down my edges using an edge control first and then i'll follow that up with eco styler gel uh, the reason i like to do this this way is because the eco styler gel helps to keep my edges laid for way longer than just the edge control so again edge control followed by eco styler gel then i'm just going to go in take some more some more eco styler gel and use it basically as a glue and there you have it you can do that on both sides of your head and you are good to go once my hair is glued down i'm going to follow that up with uh glued down gel down i'm going to follow that up with a silk scarf and i'm going to just tie it down tie it down as um tightly as you can because you want to use this just to mold your hair and make sure that your hair stays flat uh, and in place so you won't have any flyaways your hair will really like adapt to the way you want it to look and now i'm just gonna go in and show you guys how i finally got the final style at the end so now that my hair is dry i'm gonna go in with my hair given hair uh, clip in extensions and i'm just going to clip, clip them into my head starting right at the back so uh, i'm doing this randomly there's really no pattern to it as you see later on i come back and i add more clippings right in the center because uh, my pom-pom was leaving like that gap there that was really frustrating me so i came back and i added more um then i spritz my clippings as well because they've just been in my cupboard since like i think two three weeks ago when i washed them so i just wanted to make sure that they are moisturized as well but i didn't want to put too much water which is why i'm working in the water that i had spritzed because i want them moisturized but i still want them to look 
uh, kinky enough for them to be my natural hair if that makes sense yes there is a bit of a color difference but it doesn't really show when you're in the sun so i'm going to just add those clippings that i was talking to you guys about work some water into them again and then uh fluff them when it comes to the front you'll find that i put my clippings in the inverse and what i mean to do what i mean by that is i put them upside down so that facing down so that they could cover the clipping band right at the front so here i go putting them in um i ended up checking it through on a mirror because i couldn't see this properly through the viewfinder so that i could really cover it properly uh but what i could see i fixed so you can go in with bobby pins as well and kind of clip it down so that you can cover that band right there and then just to give the style that va -va voom you see i went in with my pearl hair clips if you follow me on instagram you would have seen me share these clips and all the other accessories that i got for my hair and where i bought them so i'm just going to put them in there um i realized that putting them facing down works better because you won't see that end right there it's kind of covered by my clipping extensions then i follow that up by just cutting away any flyaways or one strand knots and there you have it guys thank you so much for watching my video please do share the video with your friends and share them with those people that want to find out how they can seek their hair down i absolutely appreciate your support have a wonderful wonderful day Mwah!